it takes recruiters six to seven seconds to scan through your resume how do i know this because i have been there so a few weeks ago i asked you to send me your resumes and your linkedin url for a review so in this video i'll be reviewing your resumes and your linkedin profiles i have to apologize in advance if i don't review yours Forgive me, but this is something you can do. Get your resume handy and your LinkedIn profile accessible so you can follow along or just get a notepad and a pen so you don't get distracted. You know the drill. Like this video so it can reach a wider audience. And if you are yet to subscribe to the channel, what are you doing, friend? <laughs> All right, now you have your notepad and your pen ready. Let's do it. You know, I said I was going to review just five CVs and five LinkedIn profiles, but we got more than that. We're going to be reviewing CVs first before LinkedIn profiles. Okay, so let's start with the first person, Ini Ipedeme Osanga. So this review is going to be very detailed. I'll start from the things that you didn't see coming, which is the name of the file. You're supposed to save your CV with your first and last name underscore cv or underscore resume moving on to the header the header is supposed to include your first and last name your email address and the phone number we used iu here so let's assume that you is for the osanga is it osanga or sanga <laughs> i'm so sorry if i don't pronounce your name correctly forgive me so you can edit this to ini Osanga, I'm sorry again. All right, your email address is fine, your phone number is fine, you didn't add your location, so I don't know if there's a reason for that. Maybe you're using the CV to apply for a remote job, which is fine. All right, moving on to your professional summary. Here you have supply chain veteran 20 years in bracket with a results driven passion for optimizing operations expert in inventory management and control quality management systems material planning demand planning production planning procurement and you keep listing your skills customer centric and cost reduction optimizer tpm what is tpm tpm guru and 5s champion I'm assuming that's total productive maintenance I don't know. Okay. Proving leader in building a high performing team that delivers zero tolerance for safety risks, seeking transformative challenges. This could be better. I'm going to try to rephrase this without changing so much, without really changing the content of your summary. Okay, so this could sound something like experienced supply chain professional with 20 years of expertise dedicated to enhancing operational efficiency. Proficient in inventory management, quality control, material planning, demand focusing, production planning, procurement, sourcing, contractor management, contractor engineering, vendor assessment, and logistics. Customer focused and adapt at optimizing expenses. Skilled in total productive maintenance, TPM. Now I am assuming that stands for total productive maintenance. <laughs> and championing the 5S methodology. Demonstrated leadership in cultivating high performance teams. Committed to safety with zero tolerance approach to risks. All right, so that's it for your professional summary. Let's move on to your skill set. I think I'm okay with your skills. Next is experience. So your experience section should contain your job role, the name of the company, the location, and the start to end date. Right here you have o what? OPCO. I don't know what that stands for. You should remove that and just skip the supply chain manager and remove the logistics, demand planning, remove all of this from the header of your work experience. And bring that down to your job description okay here you should only have your job title which is supply chain manager the name of the company which is champion burials plc hennequin group uyo aquibum state and your start to end date your end date for this role is july 2023 that's like almost a year now so i don't know what your current position is you should update your resume if you have a current role that is not added to your cv okay moving on to your job description in your job description, I see that you quantified your achievements, which is good. This is good. It should contain more of this and less of the job duties, like 
ensured reliable raw material flow with efficiency. Remove the job duties and maintain the achievements. Your job description section should not exceed six bullet points. So you need to work on this part of your resume. Same thing with the rest of your work experience. Moving on to your education. So I have a problem with including your graduation date. Some hiring managers will take a look at your graduation date and disqualify you from the role. So take that off. Take all of these off. Moving on to your certifications and membership. This is okay. Proficiencies. Okay. I'm not sure this is needed. Just take all of these off. We have your skills up there. So you don't need this. I see here that your CV is three pages. Your CV should be a maximum of two pages. If you can achieve a pager with your CV, that's better. All right, moving on to the next person. You have to save your CV with your first and last name underscore CV or underscore resume. That's the last time I will say that. If you have not reviewed your CV yet and you know you've made this mistake, please just change it. Okay, Elizabeth. According to the email she sent, she said I should review her CV for chat operator. So I'm going to keep that in mind moving forward. Now the Heather, Elizabeth Ogar. Your first and last name, it's cool, but I don't know why this is here. You need to take that off and take off your full address. You can maintain Ogun State, which is fine. Your email address, phone number, you don't have to spell out all of this, like phone, email, remove all of that professional summary dedicated and detail oriented professional with a strong background in customer service and administrative support and academic writing proficient in various virtual assistance tasks including data entry document conversion i am not seeing anything about chat operator here so you need to revamp your professional summary to suit the role you want to apply for and I see here that your fonts are not consistent. This is looking like you copy it from somewhere and then you just paste without changing the fonts. Moving on to your skills. Your skills as well need to align with the position you want to apply for. Next is your work experience. Change the heading to work experience and not training. Virtual assistant, data entry specialist, Okay, this is the name of the company. Something is missing, which is your start date. She just wrote date here. This is not appropriate. Include your start date, say April 2019 to present, if it's your present role. Job descriptions. You need to use numbers, metrics to quantify your achievements. This should be less of job duties and the things you learned. She has to present role. You have to put an end date to this role so it won't look as if you're moonlighting. Entry level academic writer at study poll. I'm guessing this is a remote role. You should highlight that on your CV. Take off your date of graduation and certifications. Elizabeth, this is a red flag right here. Take off your secondary school and primary school education from your resume. You need to download my professional resume template. The link is in the description. Okay, so looking at your CV, the general view is... <sighs> this could be better. You need to revamp your CV. You need to work on your formatting because this is not good. I am not impressed. And according to your CV, you should be applying for roles such as customer service, virtual assistant positions, mm, data entry positions. So if you're looking to apply for a chat operator with this CV, I don't think it's going to get you the job. So you need to revamp your CV to suit the job role you want to apply for and work on your formatting. That being said, let's move on to the next person. Grace. My first impression on your CV would have been a 90, if not for your photo. Except this is a specific requirement from the job you're applying for. You should not include your photo on your resume. I love that this is a page I resume. So let's go through the header. Your header is great. You have your job title, your contact details, email, phone number, and location. Dynamic video editor slash videographer with eight years of solid expertise in video production. Okay. 
trained in filmmaking and TV directing from Hollywood film and possessing from Hollywood film. Personally, I'll put a full stop here and take this off. Take off your possessing a higher national diploma in mass communication. Take that off. Proficient in camera equipment, digital technology, and so on. Skilled in special effects, 3D, and compositioning. Great. This is great. Notable roles within the office of the immediate vice president where I enhance media presence through creative filming and editing, capturing pivotal moments. This is amazing. This is great as well. Don't be afraid to brag a little on your resume. This is the first thing an employer will see. And this is a job that you did. Don't be afraid to brag a little on your resume. Don't lie, you. <laughs> okay, moving on to your work experience. Job title, name of the company freelance i would advise you indicate if you're still working here if you're not you can add an end date to this particular role personally i would not change anything about your job description for this first role let's take a look at the second you should state the month here your work experience should contain your job title the start to end date which is the month and the year and then there should be a form of consistency in your date format the month and the year this should be applicable to others all right please take off your graduation date all right i believe you still have some skills you need to highlight here i know you highlighted some of them in your professional summary but you still need to bring them down here in case a recruiter missed it in your professional summary and straight up went to your skill section to check if you have the skills they are looking for so highlight those skills here for your references accept it's a requirement from the higher manager please this is not necessary you're wasting space take off the references and bring down your skills let's move on to the next person nam so faith let's start with the header as usual you have your phone number your email address your location which is great okay personal profile change that to professional summary a knowledgeable driven and highly motivated hsc expert skilled at leadership strategic planning innovation communication and prioritization skills you need to revamp your professional summary i don't know the current role you're applying for but let's assume it's for hsc go back to the first cv i reviewed and take some clues from there all right professional experience branch manager name of the company the location you should include the month you started working here and your job description should be more of achievements and less of job duties use metrics use numbers quantify your achievements this should be applicable for all your work experiences i'm looking for education all right here we have it the education section is fine please take off your year of graduation interest except you're applying for your master's or a research program take off this section okay all right moving on delete this as well reference available on request or reference on demand okay let's move on to the next person day to two at day dg i'm hoping i pronounced that correctly let's start from the header the location should come beneath your email address and phone number should be given a priority this is your linkedin url i love that you added this to your cv and i'm hoping that your linkedin is optimized we're coming to that okay your professional summary i am a result oriented marketer specializing in seo and wordpress web design i leverage my try as much as possible to reduce the i on your professional summary watch the first review and just follow suit let's move on to the work experience because we still have linkedin profiles to review all right you have the name of the company your job title and a date this is fine this is cool what is not cool what is not okay is your job description it's a no you need to work on your job description highlight your achievements that's what i want to see that's what a recruiter wants to see recruiters want to see results okay so quantify your achievements quantify your results use numbers use metrics okay it should be less of job duties and it should be a maximum of six bullet points all right 
This is applicable to other work experiences. I just saw something on your resume now. This means this was copied somewhere and you just paste it without removing this background. I will teach you how to remove this. All you need to do is to highlight that area in control and space. Control key and space and it will go off. All right, let's move on to your education. Remove your graduation date and take this off. Certificate of National Service. Please take it off. Delete it from your resume. Moving on to your skills. Please just merge your skills together. Here you have different headings for your skills. You have skills, you have soft skills, you have technical, you have technology and tools. Just merge, merge them together. Merge these two together and for the technology and tools you can just rename it to technical skills according to the email you sent to me you said you've been looking to change jobs for a while now and you've not been getting any positive feedback and you don't know if your cv is the problem i don't want to lie to you yes your cv might be the problem you need to revamp your cv your cv has a lot of the formatting, I don't like your formats and the content of your CV. I hope that when you apply all the corrections I've made, you will receive a positive feedback. And by the way, for all the CVs I've reviewed, if you like me to still do all the corrections myself, you like to work with me directly, use the link in the description and in the pinned comment and reach out to me. Let's work together and get you that call back. Okay, let's move on to the next person. My first impression on this CV is 90%. The remaining 5% is for the correction I'm going to make. I am definitely going to see something. <laughs> the other 5% is for me. All right, let's start with the header. So take off your middle name and maintain your first and last name. Aside that, your header is okay. Your professional summary. All right, it's important that you add your years of experience okay dedicated and results driven administrative slash operations manager with 10 years of experience in overseeing you get the gist yeah all right moving on to your skills competences you should change this to skills you can say skills and competences or just skills this is because of the ats technical skills i love it i love the format of your cv i love it i love it professional experience job tied to company dates great i see here that you quantify your achievements which is good i love it i do please complete your dates add the months okay this is applicable to all your work experiences and take these off if they are not related to the job you're applying for take them off they are then you should treat them right the same priority you give to others by highlighting your job descriptions please do the same thing for them and i just noticed that this bullet point is more than six keep the ones that are important and take others off education please take your year of graduation off training and certifications i love it i love it so let's move on to the next cv Okay, so this is our next CV and I think it's going to be the last. <laughs> Just to talk for me, me. Okay, your header is can be rearranged. Your header has the necessary information, but you need to rearrange them. Okay. All right, a professional summary. Customer success professional with over four years of experience. I love it. In general, customer satisfaction, practice, and extensive IT technical support background spanning over three years. Which background? The IT support? I always employ a bespoke approach to interacting with each customer, allowing me to maintain a customer satisfaction score of at least 90%. Your professional summary can be more concise, you know, highlighting just the relevant information. Let's see what we can come up with without having to change so much in your professional summary, in your existing professional summary. You could have something like experienced customer success professional with over four years of expertise in general customer satisfaction practice and three years in IT technical support proficient in analyzing and managing customer behavior, skilled in resolving issues with a tailored approach, well-versed in managing the entire client's life cycle and adapt with CRM software. 
committed to helping companies achieve their customer satisfaction goals. Now, how does that sound? better yes your education section should come after your work experience and take off your graduation date all right moving on to work experience you can see how your cv looks like on the screen there's an empty space here if you work on it you could achieve a two pager even a pager resume yeah so work on your format you have your job title here you have the name of the company please add the month you started working here okay moving down to your job description I love that I'm seeing numbers. Oh my God, I get so excited when I see this on people's resume. I love that I'm seeing numbers. It's just that your bullet points are too much. Make it six. Okay, maximum of six. You can rename this to technical skills. I already have your soft skills. Okay, so another thing you could do instead of listing your skills is write a sentence how you used the skills in your job your certification section is great all right moving on to linkedin review now <laughs> but i think i need to pause and take water first and we'll be back <laughs> so we're just going to review it in the order we reviewed the cv starting with any my first impression for your linkedin profile is not great you need to include a banner don't leave this place empty your linkedin banner should not be empty just go to canva design something and upload it here okay remove this open to work badge and leave the visibility just for recruiters your header is fine but if i'm too optimized i will add other key skills that you have I love your about section particularly how you highlighted your key achievements that being said, you want to keep this place as concise as possible, only highlighting the relevant information. All right. Your experience section. Please make sure that after revamping your resume, make sure that your resume sync with your LinkedIn profile and also spell out your acronyms. Okay. Your education is fine. I hope you didn't list your secondary school information here. You should move this to your certification. Finally, your about section should include keywords that are relevant to the role you're applying for, keywords that are relevant to the industry, and also go through the job you want to apply for and check out the skills they highlighted and add them to your skills section. Okay, moving on to the next person. Elizabeth, I'm not sure what's going on here because I had to go back and forth. To understand to try to marry your cv what the content i saw on your cv and what i'm seeing right now on the screen i am confused this is your cv here as elizabeth oga right and you are in ogun state nigeria but what i'm seeing on the screen now it's elizabeth oga and you are in new york united states so i'm confused this is the LinkedIn URL you sent with your CV. So no, maybe it's a mistake or something. I don't know what to make of it. I can't even review it because I'm confused myself. Maybe you send me the correct one or just go through the reviews I'm going to do for others and implement them on your LinkedIn profile. Let's just move on to the next person. I love your cover banner. I love your profile photo and your headline. Let's go through your about section. Okay, so for your about section, I would prefer you do what you did for your professional summary. Okay, just you can just copy it and paste it. Yes. As a matter of fact, professional summary is going out of style. Okay, recruiters would prefer to see that on your LinkedIn profile than your CV. So I would like you to replicate what you did for your professional summary on your LinkedIn about section. Your experience is great. Your education is great. Take off this graduation date. And I'm a little bit disappointed because I expected to see more. There's a key feature you can use, Grace, to enhance the overall quality and appearance of your LinkedIn profile. Use it to showcase your work, your portfolio. Okay, if you do that, it will appear somewhere here. I think I should show you what I mean. Okay, if you click on here, it will take you to a landing page. If you click here, it will take you to my resume template. The next one will take you to my YouTube channel. All right, and the next one will take you to my newsletter. So as a cinematographer, you can really use this feature to highlight your work. Another thing you need to optimize on your LinkedIn is your LinkedIn URL. This is what it looks like. 
so you need to optimize it to your first and last name i was supposed to mention this from the first person i'm sorry so this is another thing you need to optimize your linkedin url is important okay now let's move on to the next person so I was supposed to review Namso's LinkedIn before I did two two, but Namso, if you're watching this, your URL is broken. So you can watch others and optimize your LinkedIn profile. All right, the next person is a day two two a day day G. Your cover banner should not be empty. I love your profile photo. I love it. And your headline, I love your headline. I love that you optimized your LinkedIn URL. Yes. Okay, let's go to your about section. Okay, she possesses a degree in botany. I think you can just take that off. It's not it's not what you're doing, yes? It's not. Customer and e commerce operations, customer success. Let's take this off. Alright. Your work experience section is good. Education is good. Take off the year of graduation. I love that you requested for recommendations. Good. Okay, so as a WordPress, um, what do you call it? As a WordPress website designer, content writer, you should highlight the jobs you've done in the feature section. Okay, so the key things you need to do for your profile, work on your cover banner, use the feature section to your advantage, make sure that your work experience is seen with that of your resume, and remove your year of graduation from your education. Okay, yes, let's move on to the next person. Dorothy, you have a cover banner. If this is your style, it's cool. Your profile photo, it could be better. It's looking like a selfie. So if you have another photo, you can change it. Your headline is okay. All right, let's go to your about section. Very detailed, highlighting your key skills. All right, it's arranged properly and easy to read. Work experience. Okay. Please make sure that your work experience sync with that of your CV. Your CV should not be telling one thing and your LinkedIn profile is telling another. Your LinkedIn profile is looking good, but please, it's one thing to optimize your LinkedIn profile and it's another thing to stay active on LinkedIn. You have to create content, engage in other people's posts and just be active on the platform. Okay, this applies to everybody applies to everybody and not just Dorothy. Oh, friend, I am happy to inform you that <laughs> this is the end of our section. If I did not review your profile, I am so sorry. Please forgive me and don't unsubscribe, okay? And if you are yet subscribed to the channel, kindly do so and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.